Uh, your laptop is wrong, I hope, uh, unless I'm uh, <laughs> really imagining things here. Uh, you're showing us online to me. I just joined the chat room, so. Yes, but like, part of the hallucination would say that, wouldn't they? <laughs> mm. oh, thank you, Rope Daddy. You're welcome. Oh, bye. I could have picked. I I could have picked any other way to phrase that, and it would have been better. But you absolutely <laughs> I, could have. I like, feel like I just got flashbanged. You didn't. <laughs> Deep in the desert lies the town of Narda. It's a small town with not much to its name, but for some reason, all of their water has dried up. The locals think that they're cursed, but they'd love for some enterprising adventurers to get to the bottom of this mystery. And what do you know? There are three of them looking to do exactly that. Hi, I'm Graham. My friends and I set out to complete every quest in Old School RuneScape, so come along as we take it one step at a time. Welcome to Cape Quest. <laughs> I refuse to provide context. <laughs> Use this as a cold open, you coward. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, if I remember that in uh, at the rate I'm running, I'm like two and a half months behind the stream for the YouTube videos. So Fair. if I remember when it comes around. <laughs> All right, time to push cakes even further. Yeah, this is more of a side grade than anything else, because we're just going to be fighting some level 75 enemies. We've definitely beaten worse with these cakes. <laughs> True. And we will definitely beat even or worse than that. <laughs> I still can't believe, still can't believe we got through horror horror from the deep with cakes. You I got just... through horror of the deep with cakes. I still haven't done it yet. Would recommend doing that at some point. If yeah, you have money. I highly recommend just using magic. Gotcha. Invest in the chaos runes, and you'll do enough damage. I'll lend you my elemental staves, so all you need is a pile of air runes and chaos runes and some food, and you'll 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 do it. That's fair. I I do have an air staff and a fire staff, so yeah, I can lend you the water staff and the earth staff. I Dang. forget. Can we? I specifically bought them for that quest to give me more on windows to attack it. How much cake do I need to bring for this? How cake up I... do I need to be? I have fifty. 15 in my inventory, and I feel like there's a chance that's too much, but I also feel like if I don't bring that much, I will uh, be horribly murdered. I also need to have room for my combat gear. Oh, I'm not even wearing uh, desert robes. Oh, okay. Just wear water skins instead. Yeah, I'm just bringing water skins and trying to remember how much uh, how much it costs to get to Narda by carpet. Okay. If we can bring like do we need to do that? Coin, can we do coin. that before the quest? Probably can't be more than like. I really should just. Nah, let's just do it this way. I was gonna say I'm just bringing a thousand coins and I should be okay. Yeah, yeah, that should be plenty. Okay, cool. It's listing as no quest required to get to Narda. So, sorry, I'm bringing 977 coins because I needed a rope. Because we keep <laughs> using those. There are like eight ropes in the group bank chest. Hence my yes, rope I... daddy comment earlier. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I, uh, I forget to check to... that. Yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying to. Uh... I realize you probably immediately repressed the memory of me saying that. But... I don't even remember who you are. As we all do. So it looks like it's 200 per leg, so I'll just bring 400 coins. All right. So, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I guess I'll meet you guys there. And then after this, we get the first of the quests that needs a cat. Yay! I'm so excited. Uh, which is going to be a very... Very special quest, because honestly, I've never fought the the boss of it without Protect from Magic, and I don't know how that's going to go. We're going to have Protect from Magic. Oh, right, we get that after this quest. Perfect. Yeah, 8,000 <laughs> prayer experience, BB. Right. That's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm so excited. 
All right, what is a Narda, and how do I get to it? Uh, so Narda is in the southeast of the desert. My recommendation would be go to the Shantae Pass with 400 coins, and then take a magic carpet uh, to Paul Nivniich, and then take one from there to Narda. Okay, should I should I get my desert clothing then? Uh, I'm not bringing mine. Uh, I'm just bringing some water skins. So and yeah, uh, you don't you don't get thirsty on the magic carpets. Okay. So it is not get necessary. Thirsty in town? Uh, I don't actually remember. Oh, and make sure you have at least five additional coins to buy your pass if you don't already have one. I, I am just taking a stack of 2,000. I'm not taking yeah. any chances. Yeah. That's was almost what I got for not reading the thing I was clicking on. I almost went to the wrong place. Uh, whose world do we want to meet up on? Because we're all on different worlds at the moment. I'll just hop Ours, to you, Graham. Okay. Yeah, we'll hop to yours. Well, while you're doing that, I'll pick up the gloves I forgot to grab. Because I get my melee set so infrequently that I completely forgot to grab gloves. <laughs> and don't worry, soon we will replace those gloves. Ooh, when are we doing the next leg? Uh, I think Evil Dave is up. Uh, never mind, uh, the dwarf is up in like five quests. Nice. It'll you know, nice we we, <laughs> we still have to get through Darkness of Hallow Vale first, but like... <laughs> It'll be nice to have the iron gloves. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, hi, Miles. Thank you for the uncut emerald, Miles. Miles is a bro. Hi, level 63 crocodiles. Oh, I see you're getting... All right. Yes, thank you. I realize the desert is dangerous. I have spent entirely too much time here <laughs> over the years. Yeah, so you're going to take the first, uh, Paul Nivniich first. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. There is someone here with a blue party hat in my world. And I don't think Old School RuneScape has the same cosmetic overrides that uh, normal RuneScape does. So yeah, that is probably an actual blue party hat. <laughs> yep. And yeah, I can, t I, I can look up his skills and I see that he really hates fletching and fishing. I, can you blame him? He has maxed combat stat, like maxed strength, defense, and attack. 98 ranged, 99 prayer. His magic's pretty high, but then he has 10 fletching. <laughs> <laughs> Probably tried it once for half an hour and said this is awful and quit. Yeah. And I fishing. Like, I like fletching. 19. Cooking. <laughs> I don't... I don't mind it, but it's definitely a lot better when you have access to the Grand Exchange. And then there's literally only one option here, so just take that to Narda. Yeah. Isn't... Oh, uh, we going cool. together? <laughs> oh no, how did this happen? We <laughs> fused. Oh. You shall... Ha! <laughs> oh, I see Connor beat us here. Ahoy. Yeah. Hello. Time there, to murder. Am I remembering correctly that there's a bank in Narda? I don't remember. I, I know on one of my characters I spent a fair bit of time here. I just don't remember. <laughs> it's been so long. I used water a single time. I'm going to switch to my actual armor. <laughs> yeah, like you really... I actually still haven't used it. Yeah, you really don't need a ton. Like, they they play it up like you do, and you don't actually. That being said, uh, finishing this quest will cause the, if I remember correctly, will cause the fountain in the middle of town to start, or to be usable. So it becomes 
super handy when you're doing stuff in and around the southern desert. Okay. Yeah, because... I don't know what the ruins of Olek are. Uh, wait, I have a vague memory. Yeah, okay, never mind. Yes, I do. Looks like they ported that. Uh, looks like they ported that quest in. But yeah, we're actually not too far from one of the best ways to train agility. And, like, one of the raids. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm... brought the desert clothing. <laughs> uh, so there brief. is there is a bank on, in the far south of town you might be able to use. In fact, I'm going to head over... Or, well, no, I'm going to telegram this key real quick, and then I'm going to head over there and see if I can use it to deposit a couple things. Yeah, I'm going to do the same. What is this person doing? Actually, no, I, I need to run there now. I need to open up this inventory space. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I don't know if we'll be able to use it just yet, but it doesn't hurt to check, right? Yeah. Alrighty, that wasn't too bad. Yeah. Telegrabbing freed up enough inventory space for me to just go ahead and grab the robes and fix them. There you go. And if you still have a needle and thread left over, you can deposit them in the bank. Ooh. I just realized I am, like... I hope I am uh, in good enough gear to get through the fights in this. Hey, if not, you can borrow my plate legs, because I'm basically in, I'm, I'm in full mithril, so... <laughs> oh. <Not> much much better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um... Connor, our melee sets are just a travesty. Yeah, I don't... Can you buy adamant plate body and plate legs in anywhere? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I just haven't had the money for it because I have done zero money grinding in yeah, months. Yeah, one of the reasons I wanted I want to do medium <laughs> clue scrolls is because you get adamant gear from medium clue scrolls. Yeah, no, you can just buy... I'm pretty sure the plate body shop and the plate legs shop uh, like the plate leg shop in uh, Falador, I think sells adamant. Say hi to the level five snake that definitely should not attack us. Watch it do it anyway. <laughs> now I'm drinking water. Wait, you're telling me that there's a fairy ring here? <laughs> Amazing. No, there is. <laughs> now we, we know. could have just taken the fairy rings. Why did we do things the way that we did? Because we're bad. Uh, that's fair. Hey! Oh, Graham, we're the try-hard squad, not the do-good squad. <laughs> <laughs> Those are <laughs> not mutual. So. Yeah, why do things efficiently when we can just make things infinitely harder for ourselves? There they are. Orange salamanders. Yes. What? Those are weapons. Pardon me, I... Need to <clears throat> grab some things here. <laughs> Alright, hopefully that'll be good enough for the the thing that we have coming up later. I, I if it's still not, need I have to 100 find the short bow. Where is the short bow? There's the short bow. Come here, you. Also, if anyone needs a pickaxe, there's a bronze pickaxe not too far away. Nah, I got one. Yeah, I'm okay. This, this, we're not too far from where in uh, RuneScape 3 the Gorgonite mine is, Graham. <laughs> One of the, like, oh. two. Right, because that's like the, was that, level 80, level 90 armor? Yeah. At level 80, I think. Yeah, I figure... So what I figure is if I ever start streaming RuneScape 3, it's probably going to be for a uh, release order. Uh, white Golem Stab Attack style. Which I am already doing. I'm sure that I have Stab queued up before I do anything. Ooh. Do I level Defense a little bit? Uh, that's so also spear Stab style. Uh, spears are weird in that they only have control, I believe. Except for Block. Oh, except for Block. Wow, okay. <laughs> Never mind. 
Oh, that's right. I'm trying to train attack right now. Yeah, my attack's currently 47, and Boy, I think well, finishing I... that quest will uh, get me up to like 48, 49-ish. Uh, I wish we had Taibouani Trio done. <laughs> this would be so much better with a rune spear. <laughs> I mm -hmm. spent way too much money just so I could have one for this. No, oh, don't worry. You'll get a poisoned one later. Fancy. That's probably going to be our best melee weapon for a while, right? Most likely. Unless we specifically need a shield for something. Yeah, we won't be able to use it to fight dragons. No, but there is a one-handed uh, lance you get <laughs> way you can get way later in the game. Uh, that is designed to fight dragons. <laughs> oh yeah, because that's it isn't not for a long time, Graham. Uh, no, we we're ever get we're it. probably never getting it unless we stick with this game way past when the Cape Quest is done. All right, eat some food. Uh, I'll have enough if each of them doesn't take more than like three or four. Uh, who's up next? Looks like slashing attacks. Damn, this has a lot of damage. Yeah, rune gear, like, rune weapons are good. That is... It's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, uh, rune equipment is, like, end of early game. So. Also, I am very excited for... Why am I not attacking? Unless I'm, like... <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> uh... But unless I'm mistaken, and uh, the giant rat boss is already in the game, which, I, again, I don't think it is yet, because I think they're still, like, ironing everything out so they can pull it. Uh, I am very excited for that. Okay, just in case. Yeah, look at the difference. We have basically the same stats. Look at the difference in our weapons. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Rune's your first real big power spike. Why did they give me thieving XP? Uh, because there's a spike trap that you uh, manage to disarm, or you manage to like clear the blockage without um, triggering it. Ah, gotcha. So I want to use slash for this one. Any minute now, me. Thank you. Yeah. No, I figured this one wouldn't be going too badly. Yeah. This is giving me every kind of XP that I can gain right now. Yeah, it's one of the nice parts. Yeah, the attack, shared strength. Experience. Uh, for a long time in the game, the, like, best... Uh, the, the best weapon with no setup required uh, also gave shared XP. I mean, that was back when the Abyssal Whip was the best melee weapon in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, unless you were specifically setting up uh, Darok's Great Axe to be as effective as possible. Gotcha. Uh, I because, e having one hit point. Yeah, that weapon deals more damage the less HP you have. So oh, that's neat. Yeah. Uh, actually, what's really funny about that is you remember back when we were doing Dig Sight, those, uh, the nitroglycerin that we got? Yes. Uh, people used to get extra of those, specifically so that when they were doing, uh, like when they were setting that whole thing up, they could just re drop their health really fast by dropping them on the ground and taking 35 damage. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, jumping back a bit, I figure a release order run of RuneScape 3 would be the way to do it, so that you don't, like, you get the story in a sensical order. Mm-hmm. There we go. Would we see pengus and... Uh, you'd actually see a lot more of them. Uh, because... Uh, in RuneScape 3, they have the full penguin quest line. Which is not present in old school RuneScape. Uh, aside from the first one. Sorry, Graham. I think <laughs> you're going to have to uh, switch games now. <laughs> uh, not not Switch games, but sometime down the line, I honestly would not be opposed to uh, 
doing a RuneScape 3, you know, release order challenge. Because I feel like even though that's going to cover a lot of the same quests, it'll feel very different from what we're doing. It's also just an entirely different game. It is a very, in a lot of ways, a very different game. Following a local Narda legend leads us to the source of the River Elid, where we find a trio of water spirits who are very upset that their sacred statue was thrown out of the city's temple by a Ceredominist priest who was trying to get the locals to change religions. They say that if we return the statue to them, then they'll let the water flow again and the problem will be solved. So now all we have to do is find that statue. It looks like your RNG is getting a little better. I saw a six over there. Yeah, as soon as you gave me those cakes, <laughs> this thing, oh, there's another four you hit for, but now another four. I believe in you. You got this. I'm supposed to be the melee fighter of the three of us. <laughs> I think it's mainly just because, because I've been training fletching, I have a lot of spare cash, so I'm able to buy good gear. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Because fletching, say. like, it, it isn't the most efficient way to make money, but just by training it, you make a decent amount of money. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I, to be fair, it is a very good way to make money with the grand exchange because there are tons of people who always need fletching materials. It is. Dang, why is Alex not really buying cool. Connor a rune sword? <laughs> Where would you even find, like, an actual... Not like a rune longsword. Where would you find just a rune sword? Curious now. So that can become Connor's, um... It's a good runescape version of Sugar Daddy. You can, you have to... <laughs> uh, uh, so in the... In the Champions Guild... That shop sells a rune... Uh, a rune sword. <laughs> in addition to a rune longsword, but that's a little more expensive. But yeah, for context why a release order run would be important in RuneScape 3, uh, a level 3 player in that game can literally walk, like, 120 tiles from their spawn and go talk to one of the gods. And one of the other gods is canonically dead at this point. <laughs> Sorry, two of, the, two of the other gods are canonically dead. Possibly three. I don't know how a certain quest line goes, but I do remember hearing... Uh, I do vaguely remember hearing that a uh, certain deity was killed off in that quest line as well. So that's that's why release order would be important. So, you know, you don't, like, miss important context because some quests are like, this has really low requirements to do this quest, but come back when you have level 90 of this thing for a different reward. It's... It's kind of wild, honestly. Alright, uh, who wants to put money down on how many tries it's going to take me to get water from a cactus? Why? Why the cactus genocide? Uh, because I... They know what they did. <laughs> I failed three times in a row, Connor. That's why. You're you welcome. ever have that, like, when you stretch and then something cracks and you're just not sure what cracked and it's very disconcerting? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, all the time. I think my, like, sternum just cracked. Which doesn't make sense, because there's not really a lot of connective tissue there. I don't know what just cracked, but it... it I I don't know if I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've had that happen uh, to me a few times. Yeah, uh, rub some dirt in it, you'll be fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm, what do you need to lie down? <laughs> <laughs> Would recommend salt and lime juice. <laughs> Is the worst sound I've heard come out of my body. Uh, yeah, it's always deeply, deeply concerning when it happens. So I remember the first time someone, like, actually cracked my back. Like, I carry a lot of tension in my body in general. And someone said, hey, let's do the back crack thing on me. And I laid down on the ground and they did it. And it sounded like someone belly flopped onto a pile of bubble wrap. <laughs> we figure out that the statuette was dropped down a nearby crevice, which... Shouldn't be too hard to reclaim, except for the fact that there is a genie living down there who will only trade the statuette for the soul of the mayor of Narda. I, I do love that we we trade <laughs> we trade the mayor's souls for the, the statue. Give you the cats, you flee. No, we're getting there. Hey, get your hands off 
my house. <laughs> uh, Just touching the lamp. I love the writing in this game. It's so good. After giving the genie a taste of its own medicine by handing over the bottom of the mayor's shoe, we're able to return the statuette to its rightful place, which lifts the curse on the town, making this quest complete. And that's where we're going to end things for today. Though our time in the desert is definitely not over, the next quest up is one of my personal favorites. There's a long-running desert storyline that I believe culminates in one of Old School RuneScape's raids that we're going to be kicking off next time. So I'm very excited for that. Though any raiding that we do is going to be quite a ways down the road. As always, you can catch us live on my Twitch channel every Monday at about 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. It's always a lot of fun, and, well, we're going through the quests live, so you get to see all the nonsense that gets left out of these videos. Anyway, thank you once again for watching the video. I hope you had as much fun with this one as I did in making it, and I will catch you in the next one.